Hey, this is Chuck at That Rhythm Man Guitars, and um, this is a guitar that has actually had a video done before on it. Um, some of you probably watch the um, Troglis Guitar Channel or Tro Troglis Guitar Show. That's what he calls it. And uh, this isn't meant to slight Austin in any way who does that, but I'm going to show some things about this guitar um, that are interesting because he called this guitar the Queen of Clean. And part of the reason was because he didn't feel he could get a good overdriven sound out of it. And um, part of the problem lies in what he didn't understand about the wiring in this guitar and what I think was kind of a mistake at the Gibson factory and how they wired it. Um, so in this video, I plan to cover that and kind of show you some examples of how it sounds before and after with the exact same amp, the exact same setup. I'm gonna be using this 62 Fender Bassman. So with that said, I think we'll start with demos. I'm gonna have it in the bridge position for all the demos because that's the only one that really matters significantly. Um, although the middle position will change a little also. Um, but for our concerns, the main thing is gonna be the bridge position. And so we'll start with the demos and then I'll show some examples of what they did with the wiring and how you can make it very simply better. Also, for the purposes of this video, I'll only be using just an overdrive sound and I'll play something that's similar to, you know, a thing we've all heard a million times before so that you can kind of get a better feel for the differences in the sound. Okay, so in the original Queen of Clean video, Austin explains that this guitar has the traditional three pickup Gibson Les Paul custom style winding or uh, wiring, but it doesn't. The way he explains it is that you have the neck position, rhythm, neck position this neck position pickup only. Middle position, the middle and bridge pickup only, and in the treble down position, only the bridge pickup. It's not how they wired this guitar. What they actually did was, okay, he's correct here. You put it up there, neck pickup only. Sounds like you would expect a P90 in the neck to sound pretty much. Now, you switch it to the middle. Well, what they did was they wired the middle and the bridge to the same pot in parallel. So, when you switch it to the middle position, actually, you're getting all three pickups. And when you switch it to the down position, you're actually getting the middle and the bridge. You can't get the bridge by itself. There's no push-pull pots on this guitar. There's no way to do it. The bridge pickup 
in a P90 guitar is the classic P90 rock sound. You know, if you want to think you're going to sound like uh, Leslie West did on the Mountain Records using his guitar, you're, you're not going to be able to do it with this guitar. It's always going to sound kind of muddy. It's not really going to have the same push either because you're actually cutting the output when you put it in the bridge position or what you think is the bridge position. So again, if you want that classic sound, you I mean, you even think of a Les Paul Jr. with a P90. It's only going to have the pickup here. It's the only sound you're going to get. And those are what a lot of people consider some of the, the classic rock guitar sounds. So what you have to do is the simplest thing and what I did for the demo was I simply just unhooked the middle pickup. You unhook the middle pickup. Now, for the moment, without rewiring it a little more extensively, you've got neck, neck and bridge, and bridge only. And uh, that gives you the sounds you're looking for. So to take this a little further, um, what I'm probably going to do is wire in the middle pickup using a push-pull so that you can actually activate it or deactivate it as you like. And then you'll have the options of just what I described with the neck only, the neck and bridge, or just the bridge. And then in any of those positions at all, you'll be able to bring the middle pickup in or out. Um, you could go further and do it series versus parallel. I'm thinking of doing it series and we'll see how that goes. But the main thing is, for some reason, Gibson wired in so that you, anytime you have the bridge pickup on, the middle pickup is going to be on also. And in my opinion, that's just simply a mistake. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I thought it was kind of an interesting finding in this guitar. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, you know, maybe like and subscribe. I've never even said that before, but I know it's the main thing. Anyway, enjoy and have a good day. Thanks.